has a septum in between the right and left nasal cavities. The septum of the nose comprises of the perpendicular plate of ethmoid, the vomer, and anteroinferiorly the septal cartilage. It has the olfactory nerves and the other somatic nerves which are supplying the mucoperiosteum of the nasal septum. Now we come to paranasal air sinuses. In a cut section of the skull, we are able to see the various sinuses. In relation to frontal bone, this big sinus is the frontal air sinus. In relation to the ethmoid bone, we have the anterior ethmoidal air cells. They are lined by the mucoperiosteum, the middle ethmoidal air cells, and the posterior ethmoidal air cells. In relation to the sphenoid bone, is a large air sinus which is known as the sphenoidal air sinus. The maxillary air sinus is not seen in this particular specimen. Now all these sinuses are opening into the lateral wall of the nose. The lateral wall of the nose comprises of a superior concha which has been removed, a middle concha and a large inferior nasal concha. Above the superior concha is the sphenoethmoidal recess. Below the superior concha is the superior meatus of the nose, below the middle concha is the middle meatus of the nose and below the inferior concha is the inferior meatus of the nose. The sphenoidal air sinus is opening into the sphenoethmoidal recess. The posterior ethmoidal air sinuses are opening into the superior meatus of the nose. The frontal air sinus the maxillary air sinus and the anterior ethmoidal air sinus, including the middle ethmoidal air sinuses, they are all opening into the middle meatus of the nose. So the frontal sinus, anterior ethmoidal, middle ethmoidal and maxillary, four sinuses are opening into the middle meatus of the nose. Into the inferior meatus of the nose is opening the nasolacrimal duct from the orbit.